Today I'm really excited. I'm going to do a Halloween um, beauty tutorial. Um, I'm going to do a look, um, a butterfly type look on my face. Um, the look is actually inspired by Pokemon. Um, I'm a big, big fan, big DS fan. I've been playing it quite a bit. Um, I play it all the time actually. I'm a big, big dork. Um, there's all different types of Pokemon, so even if you're not into it, it's actually a pretty good source for Halloween costume, um, inspiration. Um, if you're not familiar with Pokemon, I really recommend checking out, um, like Rosalia, um, Ralts, some really cool, um, Pokemon spare costumes. The, this look is actually inspired by Venomoth. See if that will come up. But this is the look. If you can see that. Maybe not. Anyways, um, let me go over some of the stuff that you're going to need. Around this time of year, you can usually find face paint like this. Um, pretty much everywhere. Like Walmart, Target, anywhere Halloween costumes are sold. Um, so I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to be making mixing in some of my pigments and some of my shadows. Um, Venomoth is a light pink lavender um, wing, so I mean we're going to stick with that. So I actually didn't find th that colored base paint, so I actually mixed my own using red and blue and white. Revlon Skin Lights Pink um, Highlight Face Illuminator Skin Cream. Um, just to add a little tiny shimmer. It's really not going to come off. Um, I'm also going to mix my own gloss. So you might want to have some clear gloss. This is just um, Lip Smackers and Vanilla. It has some sparkle into it and it smells really yummy. So I'm going to mix that in with some pigment. I'm going to use um, these um, sponge wedges to apply the shadow. I'm also, you know, you might want to have some paint brushes on hand. Um, I don't really want to use my nice MAC brushes or shadow brushes, but I might, to apply the glitter, I might use some Sephora brushes or some drugstore makeup brushes as we move along. And um, you might want to have some toothpicks on hand to mix your paint if you're mixing the paint. Um, I mix mine on a paper plate, but if you don't have like a palette, um, well, actually, this is more of a plastic plate. But if you don't have anything like that, I really recommend using a magazine, like an old magazine or Victoria's Secrets catalog or something like that. Um, that works really well, and you can just rip off the pages. Um, yeah, so um, anyway, so let's get started, and hopefully, you know, this turns out well. Um, obviously, I'm going to have to pull back my hair. I'm going to take my sponge and just dip it into the paint. I'm going to take it from this corner out and try to make up the butterfly shape. I can't believe Paris Hilton is playing in the background. Sorry about that. My fiance is playing Madden in the other room. I just try to create the shape of the first, the first wing. Just cover that out. And obviously this is a symmetrical look, so we're going to do the other side as well. Should have created a playlist. color 
recommend using craft paint or um, anything that's not matte for your face because like you can see that it's going over your eye and getting really close to your eye. Um, I also did a skin patch test on my arm, on my wrist, um, and I left it there for an hour just to test the makeup and I really recommend you doing that. Especially if you're gonna paint this on, you know, child, um, definitely touch, you know, test your skin. This is a really good formula. But everyone's skin is different, so you make sure to test it out before you use it. Just patting it on there, adding the color. Now that you have the shape down, and before you add another color, you might want to let this dry a little bit. Okay, now that we've let this dry a little bit, we're gonna add in some um, some pink um, to the lid. Um, Um, we're going to add some pink to the lid. Um, you can use any pigment. I'm going to use Pink Pearl by MAC. Now I'm going to actually use a shadow brush by Smashbox. Just a little tiny, tiny bit. Just to the inner corner here. And up all the way to the lid. And then to the other side. Next I'm going to take a lighter pink bit, like Lovely Lily. Just the other side of the same brush and add it to the rest of my lid. Just patting it on. 